In this module, we continue with the examples of Frobenius method. The reason we are taking so many examples because it is a very important method, it is a very long method. So, as you take, as you solve more and more examples, the method becomes much, much clearer. In this example, we have to solve the equation 2 x square y double dash minus x y dash plus 1 minus x square y equal to 0. We have a second part of the same problem where we have the left hand side is the same, only the right hand side we have a function x square. So, in the first part of the problem, it will only consist of the complementary function and in the second part of the problem, we have to consider both the complementary function and the particular integral. So, let us start with the first part of the problem. The given differential equation, we divide it by x square and we get y double dash minus 1 by 2 x into y dash plus 1 minus x square divided by 2 x square into y equal to 0. If we compare this differential equation with y double dash plus p x into y dash plus q x into y equal to 0, we will get p x is equal to minus 1 by 2 x and q x is equal to 1 minus x square divided by 2 x square. So, that if you calculate x p x and x square p x, you will see that both these functions x p x and x square p x are analytic at the point x equal to 0. And hence, we conclude that x equal to 0 is a regular singular point. Let the series solution be of the form y equal to summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m x to the power k plus m, where c 0 not equal to 0. We differentiate 2 twice and we will get y dash is equal to summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m k plus m x to the power k plus m minus 1 and y double dash is equal to summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m k plus m k plus m minus 1 x to the power k plus m minus 2. We substitute these values of y, y dash and y double dash in the given differential equation and we will get 2 times summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m k plus m k plus m minus 1 x to the power k plus m minus summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m k plus m x to the power k plus m plus summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m x to the power k plus m minus summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m x to the power k plus m plus 2 equal to 0, which on simplification gives summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m 2 times k plus m into k plus m minus 1 minus k plus m plus 1 x to the power k plus m minus summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m x to the power k plus m plus 2 equal to 0. And this implies summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m 2 times k plus m square minus 3 times k plus m plus 1 into x to the power k plus m minus summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m x to the power k plus m plus 2 equal to 0. Please note, you can take k plus m as a single variable and you can factorize this whole expression 2 times k plus m whole square minus 3 times k plus m plus 1 and you will get equation number 4 which says summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m 2 k plus 2 m minus 1 k plus m minus 1 x to the power k plus m minus summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m x to the power k plus m plus 2 equal to 0. We equate to 0 the coefficient of the smallest power of x, in this case x to the power k and our initial equation is given by c 0 2 k minus 1 k minus 1 equal to 0. 
and which implies k equal to 1 and half because c 0 is not equal to 0. And the roots are unequal and does not differ by an integer. So, to obtain the recurrence relation, we equate to 0 the coefficient of x to the power k plus m and we get c m multiplied by 2 k plus 2 m minus 1 k plus m minus 1 minus c m minus 2 equal to 0, which on simplification gives c m is equal to 1 by 2 k plus 2 m minus 1 k plus m minus 1 c m minus 2 given by equation number 6. Now, to obtain c 1, we equate to 0 the coefficient of x to the power k plus 1 and we get c 1 multiplied by 2 k plus 1 into k equal to 0. If you substitute k equal to 1 and half in the equation c 1 into 2 k plus 1 into k equal to 0, you will see that this does not vanish for the values of k equal to half and 1. Hence, the only conclusion is c 1 equal to 0 and hence from 6 we will get c 3, c 5, c 7 all the odd coefficients to be 0 given by equation number 7. Now, we put n equal to 2 in equation number 6 and we will get c 2 is equal to 1 by 2 k plus 3 into k plus 1 c 0. Similarly, we put n equal to 4 in equation 6 and using 8 we will get c 4 is equal to 1 by 2 k plus 5 into k plus 3 into c 2 and then we substitute the value of c 2 from 8 in equation number 9 and we obtain 1 by k plus 1 into k plus 3 into 2 k plus 3 into 2 k plus 5 into c 0. Substituting these values in equation 2, that is the series y equal to x to the power k c 0 plus c 1 x plus c 2 x square plus c 3 x cube plus dot dot dot, we will get y equal to c 0 x to the power k 1 plus x square by k plus 1 into 2 k plus 1 plus x to the power 4 by k plus 1 into k plus 3 into 2 k plus 1 into 2 k plus 5 plus dot dot dot. We next put k equal to 1 and we replace c 0 by a and then equation number 10 will give y equal to a x multiplied by 1 plus x square by 2 dot 5 plus x to the power 4 by 2 dot 4 dot 5 dot 9 plus dot dot dot. We next put x k equal to half and we replace c 0 by b in equation 10 and this will give y equal to b into x to the power half multiplied by 1 plus x square by 2 dot 3 plus x to the power 4 by 2 dot 3 dot 4 dot 7 plus dot dot dot. Hence, our required general solution is given by y equal to a x multiplied by 1 plus x square by 2 dot 5 plus x to the power 4 by 2 dot 4 dot 5 dot 9 plus dot 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 plus b times x to the power half multiplied by 1 plus x square by 2 dot 3 plus x to the power 4 by 2 dot 3 dot 4 dot 7 plus dot 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 where a and b are arbitrary constants. We have just solved a differential equation using Frobenius method near the singular point x equal to 0 where the right hand side is also 0. So, we only have to calculate the complementary function of the differential equation using the Frobenius method. In this second part of the problem, we have the right hand side equal to a function x square. So, now we have to find both the complementary function and the particular integral of this differential equation using the Frobenius method near the singular point x equal to 0. Let us see how we do that. In the second part of the problem, we have the same differential equation, only the right hand side is a function x square. 
And since the right hand side contains a function, the general solution will consist of a complementary function as well as a particular integral. Now to find the complementary function, we have to solve equation number 11 of the form 2x square y double dash minus x y dash plus 1 minus x square into y equal to 0. That is we put the right hand side equal to 0. And this has already been done in our previous example 1a. So now our problem is to find the particular solution of equation 11 and we take it in the form y equal to x to the power k summation m equal to 0 to infinity a m x to the power m where a 0 not equal to 0. We differentiate twice and then substituting the values of y, y dash and y double dash, we get summation m equal to 0 to infinity a m 2 k plus 2 m minus 1 into k plus m minus 1 x to the power k plus m minus summation m equal to 0 to infinity a m x to the power k plus m plus 2 equal to x square. Hence, the leading term that is the term containing the smallest power of x of left hand side of 12 must be x square and the coefficients of each of the remaining terms of left hand side of 12 must vanish. These conditions are satisfied by taking k equal to 2 a 0 into k minus 1 into 2 k minus 1 equal to 1 a 1 equal to 0 and a m equal to 1 by 2 k plus 2 m minus 1 k plus m minus 1 a m minus 2 given by equation number 14. Since k equal to 2, 13 will give a 0 equal to 1 by 3 and since a 1 is equal to 0, equation 14 will give a 3, a 5, a 7 all equal to 0. That is all odd coefficients will be equal to 0. Putting m equal to 2 and k equal to 2 in equation number 14, we will get a 2 is equal to a 0 by 7 dot 3. Putting m equal to 4 and k equal to 2 in equation 14 and using 16, we will get a 4 is equal to a 2 by 11 dot 15 and we substitute the value of a 2 from 16 in equation 17 to get a 4 equal to 1 by 11.5.7.3.3.1. Substituting these values, we will get our solution to be y equal to x to the power k into a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube plus a4x to the power 4 plus dot 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 and we get our particular integral as x square by 1.3 plus x to the power 4 by 1 dot 3 dot 3 dot 7 plus x to the power 6 by 11 dot 5 dot 7 dot 3 dot 3 dot 1 plus dot dot dot. Hence, our required solution will consist of a complementary function and a particular integral given by y equal to ax into 1 plus x square by 2 dot 5 plus x to the power 4 by 2.4.5.9 plus dot 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 plus b into x to the power half multiplied by 1 plus x square by 2.3 plus x to the power 4 by 2.3.4.7 plus dot 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 plus the particular integral x square by 1.3 plus x to the power 4 by 1.3.3.7 plus dot 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 where a and b are arbitrary constants. In our next problem, we have to find the solution of the differential equation x square y double dash plus x plus x square into y dash plus x minus 9 into y equal to 0 near the point x equal to 0. We rewrite the equation in the form y double dash plus 1 plus x divided by x into y dash plus x minus 9 divided by x square into y equal to 0. And if we compare this with the equation 
y double dash plus p x into y dash plus q x into y equal to 0, we will get p x equal to 1 plus x by x and q x equal to x minus 9 by x square. So, that x p x is equal to 1 plus x and x square q x equal to x minus 9, which shows that both x p x and x square q x are analytic at the point x equal to 0. And hence, we conclude that x equal to 0 is a regular singular point. Let the series solution of equation 18 be of the form y equal to summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m x to the power k plus n, where we assume c 0 not equal to 0. We differentiate twice to get y dash equal to summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m k plus m x to the power k plus m minus 1 and y double dash is equal to summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m k plus m k plus m minus 1 x to the power k plus m minus 2. We substitute the values of y, y dash and y double dash in the differential equation 18 and we will get summation m equal to 0 to infinity k plus m k plus m minus 1 c m x to the power k plus m plus summation m equal to 0 to infinity k plus m c m x to the power k plus m plus summation m equal to 0 to infinity k plus m c m x to the power k plus m plus 1 plus summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m x to the power k plus m plus 1 minus 9 times summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m x to the power k plus m equal to 0. After simplification, we will come to the expression summation m equal to 0 to infinity k plus m whole square minus 3 square c m x to the power k plus m plus summation m equal to 0 to infinity k plus m plus 1 c m x to the power k plus m plus 1 equal to 0, which implies summation m equal to 0 to infinity k plus m plus 3 into k plus m minus 3 c m x to the power k plus m plus summation m equal to 0 to infinity k plus m plus 1 c m x to the power k plus m plus 1 equal to 0 given by equation 21. We equate to 0 the coefficient of the smallest power of x in this case x to the power k to get our indicial equation given by c 0 into k plus 3 into k minus 3 equal to 0 which gives k equal to 3 and minus 3 as c 0 not equal to 0. To obtain the recurrence relation, we equate the coefficient of x to the power k plus m from both sides in 21 and we will get k plus m plus 3 into k plus m minus 3 c m plus k plus m c m minus 1 equal to 0 and this implies c m equal to minus k plus m divided by k plus m plus 3 k plus m minus 3 c m minus 1 given by equation 22. Putting m equal to 1, 2, 3 dot dot in equation 22, we will get c 1 equal to minus k plus 1 divided by k plus 4 into k minus 2 into c 0. Similarly, c 2 is equal to minus k plus 2 divided by k plus 5 into k minus 1 into c 1, where we substitute the value of c 1 from equation 23 here in equation 24 to obtain k plus 1 into k plus 2 divided by k minus 1 into k minus 2 into k plus 4 into k plus 5 into c 0 and so on. Substituting these values in equation 19, we will get y equal to c 0 x to the power k into 1 minus k plus 1 into k minus 2 into k plus 4 times x plus k plus 1 into k plus 2 divided by k minus 1 k minus 2 k plus 4 k plus 5 x square minus dot dot dot. We put k equal to 3 and replacing c 0 by a in, in 26 we get y equal to a x cube multiplied by 1 minus 4 x divided by 2 dot 7 
plus 4.5 by 2.1.7.8 x square minus dot dot dot. Similarly, putting k equal to minus 3 and replacing c 0 by b in 26, we get our second solution as y equal to b times x to the power minus 3 multiplied by 1 minus 2 by 5 x plus 1 by 20 x square minus dot dot dot. And hence, our required series solution is given by y equal to a x cube multiplied by 1 minus 4 by 2 dot 7 into x plus 4 dot 5 by 2 dot 1 dot 7 dot 8 into x square minus dot 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 plus b into x to the power minus 3 multiplied by 1 minus 2 by 5 x plus 1 by 20 x square minus dot 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 where a and b are arbitrary constants. In our final example, we will solve the differential equation x into 1 minus x y double dash minus 3 x into y dash minus y equal to 0 near the point x equal to 0. As before, we rewrite the differential equation in the form y double dash minus 3 by 1 minus x into y dash minus 1 by x into 1 minus x into y equal to 0. Comparing with the differential equation y double dash plus p x into y dash plus q x into y equal to 0, we get p x is equal to minus 3 by 1 minus x and q x equal to minus 1 by x into 1 minus x. So that x p x and x square q x they are both analytic at the point x equal to 0 and so x equal to 0 is a regular singular point. Please note, if you put x equal to 0 in this expression x p x, the denominator is not undefined and hence x equal to 0 is a regular singular point. As before, we take the series solution of the form y equal to summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m x to the power k plus m. We differentiate y twice and substituting the value of y, y dash and y double dash in equation 27, we will get summation m equal to 0 to infinity k plus m, k plus m minus 1 c m x to the power k plus m minus 1 minus summation m equal to 0 to infinity k plus m k plus m minus 1 c m x to the power k plus m minus 3 times summation m equal to 0 to infinity k plus m c m x to the power k plus m minus summation m equal to 0 to infinity c m x to the power k plus m equal to 0. And if we simplify, we will arrive at equation number 30 given by summation m equal to 0 to infinity k plus m k plus m minus 1 c m x to the power k plus m minus 1 minus summation m equal to 0 to infinity k plus m whole square plus 2 times k plus m plus 1 x to the power k plus m equal to 0, which implies summation m equal to 0 to infinity k plus m k plus m minus 1 c m x to the power k plus m minus 1 minus summation m equal to 0 to infinity k plus m plus 1 whole square c m x to the power k plus m equal to 0. Equating to 0 the coefficient of smallest power of x in this case it is x to the power k minus 1 gives us the initial equation given by c 0 into k into k minus 1 equal to 0, which gives k equal to 0 and 1 as c 0 not equal to 0. To obtain the recurrence relation, we equate to 0 the coefficient of x to the power k plus m minus 1 and we get k plus m into k plus m minus 1 c m minus k plus m whole square c m minus 1 equal to 0. This implies c m equal to k plus m divided by k plus m minus 1 
C m minus 1 given by equation 31. Putting m equal to 1 in 31 gives C 1 is equal to k plus 1 by k into C 0. Putting m equal to 2 in 31 and using 32 gives C 2 equal to k plus 2 by k into C 0. And in the similar manner, if we put m equal to 3 and using equation 33, we will get C 3 is equal to k plus 3 by k into C 0 and so on. Substituting these values of C's in equation 28, we will get y equal to C 0 into x to the power k multiplied by 1 plus k plus 1 by k into x plus k plus 2 by k into x square plus k plus 3 by k plus dot 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 given by equation 35. If we put k equal to 0 in 35, we will see that due to the presence of the factor k in the denominator, the coefficient become infinite. To remove this difficulty, we write c 0 equal to some k d 0 in 35 and equation 35 becomes y equal to d 0 x to the power k multiplied by k plus k plus 1 into x plus k plus 2 into x square plus k plus 3 into x cube plus dot dot dot. Putting k equal to 0 and replacing d 0 by a in equation 36, we will get y equal to a times x plus 2 x square plus 3 x cube plus dot dot dot. To obtain the second solution, we put k equal to 1 in equation 35 and we will get y equal to c 0 multiplied by x plus 2 x square plus 3 x cube plus dot 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 given by equation 38. And hence, we see both these equations are not distinct. You can see equation 37 and equation 38 have the same form. And we conclude that they are not linearly independent because the ratio of these two series in 37 and 38 is a constant. Hence, equation 38 will not serve the purpose of our second solution. So, in such case, our second independent solution is given by del y del k at the point k equal to 0. So, we differentiate equation 36 partially with respect to k and we will get del y del k is equal to d 0 x to the power k log x multiplied by k plus k plus 1 into x plus k plus 2 into x square plus dot 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 plus d 0 x to the power k multiplied by 1 plus x plus x square plus dot 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 given by equation 39. We put k equal to 0 and replacing d 0 by b in 39 to get del y del k at the point k equal to 0 is equal to b log x multiplied by x plus 2 x square plus 3 x cube plus dot 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 plus b times 1 plus x plus x square plus dot dot dot. Hence, our required solution is y equal to a times x plus 2 x square plus 3 x cube plus dot 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 plus b times x plus 2 x square plus 3 x cube plus dot 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 log x plus 1 plus x plus x square plus dot dot dot, where a and b are arbitrary constants. With this module, we come to the end of chapter 3. Once again, I must point out that Frobenius method is a very important method and hence we have taken as many as problems to clarify the idea of this method in a very stepwise manner. Thank you.